Thanks for staying with us. The Houston County Board of Education tabled the vote on the installation of cameras on school bus crossing arms. The cameras would catch people who try to pass when the bus is stopped. And as 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams explains, this project is still on the board's radar. I spoke with a couple of board members who say this project is not at a complete stop. They are confident that the cameras will be installed. They just want to make sure all the contracts are in order before they move forward. Houston County officials agree student safety is a top priority. That's exactly why they're reducing the speed on the installation of cameras on school buses. It's just a matter of cleaning up the details and to make sure that we're where we need to be structurally before we move forward. The board voted to postpone the decision on whether to contract with American Traffic Solutions. Members want to work more with local governments and ATS before making a final decision. I think it'll be passed in September. I think all of the bugs will be worked out and uh, I think we get support of the board. And... If approved, the company would install 20 cameras with absolutely no cost to the school system. The cameras would be used to catch people who try to pass the bus when students are getting on and off. The video will then be sent over to the Houston County Sheriff's Office. The vehicles fell into stop. That is very dangerous. If anyone knows the dangers of crossing the road, it's Kim Hale. She's been driving buses in Houston County for 15 years. And she says the road rage has only gotten worse. They've really gotten aggressive more in the, in the past couple of years. They, um, they threaten to pass you all the time. But until the next board meeting, looks like this project is in neutral. Houston County currently has 181 buses on the road. The board has identified areas with the most violations and those buses will get the cameras first. And with school back in session, don't forget to pay extra attention to all the buses on the streets. Here's some a uh, few tips for you. Watch for flashing amber lights on the back of the bus. That means it's about to stop to pick up or drop off kids. Always come to a complete stop when the sign is out when the stop sign is out rather. If there is a medium between you and the bus, you don't have to stop. And remember to keep an eye out for children. Look in both directions of the road to see if any kids could be getting on or off the bus and walk across your lane.